Before I start talking, uh, I have something for you to watch. I think highlighting for me is soul searching. It's um, it's finding out who I am, what I'm made of, what I'm afraid of, what fears I can overcome. Can I be happy while overcoming those fears or am I just not enjoying the process of overcoming that fear? There's a whole lot of it. So free solo is basically when you walk on a high line without uh, the safety of a harness. Yeah, so essentially you're relying on your hands, your legs, your physical ability and your mental capacity to complete the task without falling. Your physical ability and your mental capacity is something you can develop with practice, perseverance and training. That being said, let's rewind back a little. I think life brings you to moments where you have to choose. In this moment, I had a choice. I clearly remember thinking, option one, I sit down, catch the line, go back to the ground where my life is safe, secure, or I dig deep and try to finish what I had started. I obviously chose the latter. Uh, you saw the end of that so that you're not freaked out. The, the reason for that, uh, the reason for choosing this reward, the reward obviously is uh, just an unparalleled self-belief. Uh, I had a thought that uh, I can do this without the safety of a harness. Uh, I wanted to test myself and uh, I went out and went for it. The risk obviously was my life. Uh, I've obviously been uh, doing this since 2010. That's, uh, that's almost nine, 10 years. What may look like that I'm about to fall off to you uh, is not actually a moment where I'm about to fall off. I had 100% self-control and a self-belief that at any given point, I can catch the line. Uh, this is me training on a, on a slightly bigger line, much bigger line, um, to develop that ability. And uh, like I said, this is something I found in 2010. This is actually the first photo of uh, me slacklining in 2010. If you think about it, if I think about it, I actually never thought I would evolve to be this human being who had that much trust in myself. I know what some of you may be thinking, that uh, how do I deal with this fear? Was I using my brain? Do I even have a brain? <laughs> uh, I was curious about that too. So <laughs> I recruited the help of a few friends. and. Uh, with, with the help of them, we put an uh, EEG on my head. For those of you who don't know what an EEG is, it's a machine that reads your brain waves. In effect, what we found, uh, obviously I'd been slacklining for a while, so my brain uh, wouldn't react to it as a normal first time learner. So I tried something new, slacklining with my eyes closed. The first few tries, my brain lit up a lot more. As I kept trying it, my brain kept lighting up less and less and less. What we gathered from that, this is uh, Mel, my friend who, who explained this to me because I don't speak brain. Again, we don't even know if I have a brain. Now we do. She explained that this is the process of learning. So anybody who has a brain, all of us out here, everybody out there, including me, this is the process of our brain. This is how learning works. If you have a brain, this is how it works. With this thought in mind, this process of learning is there for anybody who is willing to take that step to learn. It doesn't have to be slacklining. It can be anything else in the world. And this process of learning is not limited to kids, adults, people going to school. This process of learning is there for everyone. People who are willing to take that step to learn. So slacklining is not something that we've just introduced to you know, a few young people and kids and whatnot. Uh, previous slide was uh, was movie star slacklining Kalki. This is a student of mine. Uh, this is another person slacklining. So 
From this it usually begins uh, right at the ground, which is somewhere about yay high. What we found that uh, after after pushing themselves for a while, people who have always said to me like, hey, I'm afraid of heights, I cannot do this. After practicing this for a while, they come to a point where they want to test their limit. This is the Indian Highline community in 2015, uh, where a bunch of people who would uh, just been slacklining in parks for a little while, wanted to test their own skill, ability, mental strength out on a Highline. From that, we've actually evolved to a community of Highliners in India, across the world, where we're constantly going out there and uh, finding out who we are, what we're made of, and uh, how we handle ourselves when uh, life gives us something to handle, you know? So with these, with these values that we've gained from slacklining, a bunch of us across the world thought about how can we pay it forward? Because uh, at some point when you keep doing it for yourself, it may feel empty, it may feel hollow. Um, but when you share something, uh, you actually end up learning it a lot more than what you originally imagined. This is a photo of a kid from Syria. We actually have a project called Crossing Lines, which uh, goes out, teaches Syrian refugee kids uh, how to slackline. This is not just limited to Syrian refugee kids, this is happening all over the world. So if you, if you, if you think about the first photo of me slacklining and you think about this kid, like, you know what I've evolved into, something I had never imagined. Imagine the self-belief system that this kid can evolve, that you can evolve, that I can evolve into. Not only this, like uh, we're also using slacklining with uh, kids from orphanages, kids from uh, shelter homes, uh, rural schools, tribal schools, people who are at risk on, uh, you know, it's not just about, just not about people at, at risk. I mean, for, for your life, you know what your fears are, what difficulties you're facing. This is just something which we're using to just find belief in ourselves once again. With that being said, I would like all of you to think about this for a minute and uh, consider that your self-imposed limitations of today are not your limitations of tomorrow. So I would request you all to go find your Highline moment, find your free, free solo moment. Go chase it, go find it. My name is Samar Faruqi, thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure talking to you all. Thank you. <laughs>